What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another episode of Boost to the Top of VGC 2021. The ladder reset last episode, so we are back in Great Ball tier, and I'm, I'm really annoyed with myself because I'm using a more Pico team today. I'm using a more Pico team and it's an absolute banger and I got an absolutely amazing game where more Pico just carried the whole thing, but I messed up midway through the recording and accidentally threw up Showdown, so you couldn't see any of the match. So I'm very disappointed in myself. Let's try to get some some good games with it today. If you if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like and a subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content and answer my comment question of the day right now in the comment section. What is your favorite Pikachu clone? I'm personally a big fan of more Pico. Love that guy, but I'd say the Dene is a close second. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the team I'm using is a Sunroom team. Um, but it also features more Pico Spectrier is sort of an alternate to um, Urshavu Spectrier, which the trade-off is basically more utility instead of outright power and fake out on lead, so that's really big. Um, yeah, <laughs> the code for this team will be in the description down below. I showed it at the beginning, but I, I don't have it now because I'm already on the ladder. All right, so this team looks scary. This team looks scary. Although, I can just taunt with more Pico on lead and actually just be done with it. <laughs> Uh, Torkoal in the back looks really, really good, and I have to be really careful with that Celesteela. Torkoal's pretty much there exclusively for Celesteela, and I think my last Pokemon is probably going to have to be AV Landris. I am running a pretty bulky Landris, a lot of HP. He's got, he's, he's like jolly max attack with um, enough speed, so at plus one I outspeed all Dragapult. However, I, the rest is put into HP, so I'd say that's relatively bulky. Alright, let's do it. I don't think this would be too difficult of a team. I'm just really upset because that last battle that I recorded and then covered up for like the majority of the match and didn't notice, um, that was a great battle. It was so good. <laughs> but I think more people will still be able to show off in this match. All right. Whimsicott Mudsdale. It's just beat up. <laughs> It's just beat up strategy. Uh, luckily, I do have Spectre here, so what I can do is I'm assuming that they're Assault Vest. I wish I could tell. I wish I could tell. I'm just going to Parting Shot into the Mudsdale and let them beat up themselves and also go for a Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just nerf the Mudsdale into the ground real quick. As long as they're not Lumberry, I should be fine. The reason I'm doing this instead of going for Fake Out on Whimsicott or anything is because I would rather just neuter the Mudsdale for the rest of the match. Since, yeah, since they would clearly waste their Dynamax right there. Now, mind you, I would have severely thrown away this game if uh, I missed this Will-O-Wisp or if they're Lumberry. So... Keep that in mind. That's the nature of best of one sometimes. <laughs> I'm just going to hope. I'm just really going to hope. As they go for Tailwind, interesting. Um, they shouldn't outspeed me. Because I missed my Will-O-Wisp, unfortunately, and I'm probably going to lose my... Probably going to lose my Spectre because of that. So that's not great. But I I'm pretty certain that if they're leading off with... Um, with Whimsicott, it means that they're not inner focus. They should be stamina, so I can still get my Intimidate off. And I have to keep the Spectre healthy for the rest of the match now because it's going to be one of my few ways of beating this Mudsdale out, right? Yep, not inner focus. You go for the Max Steel Spike. Into the Spectre. Minus two, it's not doing too much. It's not doing too much. Um, I could just U turn out here, to be honest. I'm just going to keep intimidating. I'll U-turn out, and I'll just go for a Protect to cut the damage a bit. Really upset I missed that Will-O-Wisp. They go for Taunt. Nice. Going to break a possible Focus Ash on this Whimsicott. And I should be safe to go into more Pico here. Just because there's no way they went for a Max Quake into it, you know? There's the Max Steel Spike. 
into the Pico. That's resisted. It's doing nothing. Um, and like I said, there's no way this Mudsdale is outspeeding anything. That Tailwind was very confusing to me. But I almost feel comfortable just actually going on the offensive now. Just because I should be able to pick up a free KO on this thing. I'll go back into Landorus. And I should be able to Phantasm the Whimsicott for a KO since they haven't quaked yet. And it's not like they can do much to Spectre with three Intimidates on them. And a Dynamax, you know? So we got some horse-on-horse -horse action. As they withdraw the Mudsdale, they're like, yeah, no, this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> they're like, I am not going to waste my Mudsdale on this. Now, hopefully what I can do here is set up a situation where I can KO their Whimsicott and prevent a Tailwind from going up again, since Whimsicott isn't too much of a threat here. It may even just taunt me, considering it doesn't want me to Will-O-Wisp anything. But I guess if they went into Klefki, they could care less, you know? Now, one thing I don't want to get messed up by is, like, switcheroo eject button Klefki, so I have to be real careful about that. They go for the taunt, so this is just free. This is just a free KO. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good damage. That is good damage. All right, so now we have plus one with the life orb. Looking good. Uh, I am no longer concerned at all for Mudsdale or anything. That thing's probably Assault Vest too. There's the Celesteela. I kind of want to just Nene on Celesteela. I mean, more Pico messes up the Celesteela. As long as I get a defense drop on it. So what I think I'm going to do here is actually just U-turn with my Landorus and go for the Max Phantasm on the Klefki. And that should set up a situation where I get in more Pico versus the Celesteela. As they go for the Light Screen, that's fine. Um, as long as I can deal with this thing in a timely manner. You know, before they set up like both their screens. I, I don't think I'll be able to, actually. But I should be able to get in the, uh, the more Pico on Click Aura Wheel. Call him Jotaro with all the ores he's throwing out, you know? They go for the Leech Seed. They miss the Spectre. I don't think that's going to matter too much. For them, anyways, you know? And I just feel comfortable doubling into this thing now. Just double into the Celesteela with Aura Wheel. And uh, Max Phantasm. Because they're going to be setting up their screens. Or actually, no, it doesn't even matter. I don't need to bother going for uh, an Aura Wheel into the Celesteela. And the reason is because I'm... Or, not the Aura Wheel, um... A Max Phantasm to Celesteela. The reason I don't need a bother... Oh, dang, I'm dark type. Actually, maybe I do need a bother. Yeah, I'll bother. I'll bother. The reason I, I didn't think I would need to is because I thought I would come in and stay electric type. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's whatever. I think I just win. Since I got this double off. Alright, more Pico finished the job. Hit him with that Aura Wheel. That's like why this combo is so gross. Because you get, like, defense drops on things, and then more Pico comes in and starts clicking Aura Wheel. Like, this isn't going to live. There's no way. Yeah. Aura Wheel is such a strong move. If any Pokemon other than more Pico had it, they would always pack it. And the reason is because it's 110 base power, physical electric type move, 100% accuracy, and it boosts your speed every time you use it. Name a better move. You can't. You literally can't name a better move. Alright, um, I think my play here is just to let them have more Pico. Or, or, yeah, I will Aura Wheel into Klefki, and I'll go for the Will-O-Wisp onto Mudsdale. I'm not even going to hit it with anything. I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp it and try to get some some revenge from earlier. <laughs> I just want to land it. Basically, it doesn't matter if I land it or not because I win with Landorus anyways, but I just want to do it for the, you know, for the culture. Alright, Klefki is down. Will-O-Wisp. Okay, yeah. This is this is just not my game to let. Excuse me. Why? I want them to tell me why right now. I want them to tell me why they would run that. They they can... They gotta tell me why. Alright. Um, I suppose I just parting shot into Landorus. And I'm not even gonna go for it anymore. I'm not gonna attempt 
throwing this game. <laughs> I'm not going to tempt my luck, you know? I'll parting shot into Landorus. I'll click this, the Shadow Ball. They have screens up there. Not Assault Vest, by the way. What if they are Lumberry? I have to check after this match. The fact that they just click that just, just confuses me. Stealth Rock. Why? Is this a singles Mudsdale? Alright, get the Intimidate off after that parting shot. That is such a nice little combo there. It's like what Incineroar usually does, but faster. <laughs> as we do about half, they are stamina, as we suspected. I mean, I guess we just proved it, like, on the first turn, because there's no way they could have not been stamina. They only have three abilities, and two of them block Intimidate. Yeah, I can just click U-turn and uh, Shadow Ball, and that'll clean up this match. So good game to my opponent. As we climb back up to Master Ball tier at the beginning of the season. But uh, yeah, uh, you can see some clear more Pico power there. You, you kind of see how the team synergizes and works as like a, a nice well-oiled machine. As we are almost at a Great Ball 9. We just have to make it into Ultra Ball and then we're like set. Once you hit Ultra Ball, it just becomes easy. You're just like, oh yeah, I can't fall down anymore. Just win like three in a row and you're good. What I usually do is I'll like do a couple of battles for videos and then it goes horribly. And then I'm like, okay, I have to sit down and actually grind out matches. So I'll just sit down, do a live stream and play. Uh, but didn't have time to live stream. I almost just instinctually typed in GLHF onto my keyboard because I'm so used to playing Showdown right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, we can lead off more Pico here pretty easily. The taunt is going to be nasty for this match. It's going to be absolutely nasty. Uh, and I think what I want to do is go Venusaur on lead, Torkoal in the back, and no Spectre this match. No Spectre. The Spectre matchup seems pretty mid. We'll go Stack Attacka. Weakness policy Stack Attacka. We'll do that. So we're lead off more Pico just for the um, Intimidate, or not the Intimidate, for the Parting Shot, the Fake Out, the Taunt. Whatever we want to do, we can like do with more Pico. The, the lead more Pico is so nasty. And yeah. I mean, we're probably going to Dynamax Celesteel in this matchup, just looking at what they have. We might even Dynamax Venusaur, considering they have one switch in, I think. Lupa. I need to complete my Pokedexes. I have never done that in a Pokemon game. Alright, Porygon 2 Incineroar. So, I'm actually not in a bad spot here. What I think I want to do is let them get off their Trick Room. That is going to be attack, which is great for me. I'll just let them get off their Trick Room. I'll go for a Fake Out onto their Incineroar. And I could try to put something to sleep. I could try to sleep the Incineroar. But I think it's my best interest just to get in Stack Attacka. Fake out goes off. Show me Trick Room, not Ice Beam. Nice. So, uh, do you want to see something really fun? <laughs> They're probably like, oh, oh no, I set up the Trick Room for them. We can't have this. Let me let me reverse the Trick Room. They will not get that opportunity today. They will not be getting that opportunity today. I can guarantee that. Let me taunt that Porygon too. Because even though Trick Room, even though Porygon 2 is slow, uh, Trick Room has like the lowest priority, so you're just slightly high, or yeah, slightly lower than like Roar. It has like the lowest priority in the game, I believe, which means that even though they're under Trick Room, they can't reverse it if I taunt them. As we get in big chunky stack attack here, they fell for it. They set up my own Trick Room. We got it. We're good. And they Dynamax. What are they Dynamaxing? They're Incineroar? Are they Dynamaxing their Incineroar? That could be crazy. But if they're going to try to reverse their trick, they're Dynamaxing their Incineroar. I, that's really no issue for me, to be honest. And the main reason is because I was much more scared of Dynamax Glacier. Uh, so what's going to happen here? 
is they're going to try to knock out my Morpico, and I'm Focus Sash. So as long as they just try to go for the Morpico knockout, I, I mean, I'm going to lose it at the end of the turn because of Sand, but as long as they don't double into Morpico, I should be able to taunt this Porygon and be fine. As they try attack. No, they're just going to double into me, aren't they? Does a solid chunk of damage. More Pico tanks, though. They go for the Max Flare. I Yeah, it's into Stack Attack. He's going to eat that up, because physical hit on a Stack Attack is Dynamax. No, you're not doing any damage there. And I think this is a good opportunity to get in my Torkoal. And they're within Max Knuckle range, so... I can just Max Knuckle the Incineroar for the KO. And save this more Pico for a later fake out. Max Knuckle for the knockout for the culture. And this should be, uh, I mean, they're fighting an, up, an uphill battle now just because they used their Dynamax on Incineroar. Whoa, they're switching it out already. They're like, no, I want to intimidate this thing. It's all good. What's coming in? Glacier. They're not going to like this hit. Seems to me like they were trying to sack it, but it didn't work out. Alright. So, because of that, even if they come in, they're going to be taking neutral max rock falls at minimum. Their weakness policy. They can't reverse the trick room, so, yeah. And I can just click Heat Wave. I'm not really scared of Ally Switch or anything. They go for the Tri Attack onto my Torkoal, who should eat that up. The only thing I'm scared of really is Paralysis, since they can't freeze me. Nice. So I can go for Heat Wave here. And I can also just... I should be able to Max Knuckle, to be honest. I can still Max Knuckle. Just to make it easier to knock out the Porygon. Or actually, mm, I'll just Steel Spike, because I'm going to end up Body Pressing Porygon to death in the endgame. And I am defense boosting, so yeah, we're good. So that's plus two defense from the, uh, what's it called? From the beast boost. And they're, they're in a bit of a rough spot here. They're in a bit of a rough spot. Because that does a lot with the charcoal. They go for a try attack again. And I think I'm still in the driver's seat here, because even if my Trick Room ends, I threaten to sleep them with my with my Venusaur. Where's the Incineroar? They're gonna intimidate me. I still have body press pressure. And Incineroar actually shouldn't take a heat wave from that range. I don't believe they ate a berry either, so they're probably like goggles Incineroar. I'll just body press the Porygon too. I'm not really scared of Incineroar right now. They go for the fake out. Who's it on? On to Torkoal. That's fine. Let me uh, remove this Porygon from play. Nice. So we're at plus three defense now. As the Twisted Dimensions return to normal. I mean, Stack Attacka, if they have a physical attacker in the back, or a Tapu Fini, they can't knock out my my guy. Ooh, it's a Gastrodon, okay. I mean, I just win now. I win with Earth Power. Uh, what I can do here is go for Protect. Or I guess I could just double attack, I don't really care. Because I think they have to, like... No, they can't beat my Venusaur in the back, right? I don't think so. Even if they, like, Earth Power and knock out my guy, I just have to go for Earth Power on their Incineroar. That should be fine. Darkest Lariat, that's fine. I suppose I could have protected the Torkoal, but I don't know. I didn't really see too much of a point. Kind of wish I was Focus Sash, so I don't have to risk... Uh... Oh, wait, no, I forgot I even I had more Pico in the back. Never mind, I, I win. <laughs> I win with uh, with more Pico. Dang it, more Pico always coming in clutch. More Pico is always coming in clutch, even when you think he's dead. I completely forgot you were alive, bro. I love you. 
All right, yeah, we just fake out the uh, the Gastrodon and go for Earth Power on Incineroar. And then I just double into it with Dark Type Aura Wheel and uh, with Dark Type Aura Wheel and Leaf Storm. Oh no, my fake out missed. Um, Incineroar, can you uh, die, please? Thank you. Goodbye. Sweet. Yeah, I think on Wednesday I'll be laddering with this team just to show how fire it is. I mean, you guys are seeing how fire it can be right now. Click this Leaf Storm. Click that uh, Aura Wheel right there. And look how much that does. W like, well over 50%. So I land the Wide Lens Leaf Storm. I'll tell you, the worst feeling in the world is missing Wide Lens Leaf Storm. You ever done that? It's it's like the worst. It's literally like, what is it? That's that's a 1% chance to happen, and I've missed it twice. I've had that happen to me twice in a match where it matters. <laughs> it, it's always just the worst feeling, but yeah. Let's go ahead and get one more battle for the video. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. This is turning out to be a, quite the video. Were they... Oh, they were Assault Vest. Okay, makes sense. I thought maybe they would be like Safety Goggles, since Safety Goggles is so good for beating uh, Venucol, if you're if you're using Incineroar, at least. You know, you have to worry... You don't have to worry about, like, uh, Sleep Powder or anything. Alright. So I think we're, like, one game away from getting into Master Ball tier, which obviously means we're going to lose this one. So we're facing Luby. And ooh, okay, that's that's quite the hyper offense team. Um, hmm. I mean, I still don't see a reason not to lead off more Pico. To be completely honest, <laughs> I, I, you can't give me a reason not to lead off more Pico here. I'll go Venusaur too, um, and Torkoal. And I think. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? I think maybe I don't lead off Venusaur. I think I can go Spectre pretty safely. Hold up. No, this... That, yeah, okay. I'll just bring Torkoal and Venusaur in the back then. Or I suppose I don't need to bring Venusaur in particular. I can just bring Stag Attack. It'll play in the Trick Room. Yeah. So I'll just I'll just go like Hyper Offense in the front, Trick Room in the back. Sort of like a mullet. <laughs> the mullet gameplay. Business in the front, party in the back. Okay. Yeah, uh, cause even the Landers does crazy damage, I should be able to take a hit with um, Dynamax Spectrier. And I am Focus Ash, so I can like fake out, taunt, whatever. If they end up leading off with Porygon 2, I should be able to taunt it. Alright, what do they have? As it looks like they're going with uh, quite the interesting lead. Now, I should be able to fake out here. I should be able to fake out here. Into you. And I feel relatively okay just clicking Max Phantasm. Like, I, I need to get rid of this guy to use any of my other Pokemon. Because my entire team is really Landorus weak. Like, if you haven't noticed, we have a bad ground weakness. Landorus is, like, our only answer to opposing Landorus. But this should do a lot of damage. Go for Fake Out, preventing a Spore or a Rage Powder, either one. Looks like I prevented the Spore. And they're probably just going to give me this Landorus? Yeah, they just gave it to me. Okay, I'll take it. And I can taunt that guy next turn, which is huge. Because I really don't feel like uh, getting anything put to sleep. I really don't feel like that. Because now we got plus one on our Life Orb Spectre here. And now we got a Dark move. So I could even just double into him. I could double into that thing just to knock it out. 
Because, I mean, nah, I should be able to just knock it out with plus one. I don't need to worry about doubling into it, I think. Because it already has minus one defense. Porygon 2? Glacier, okay. Alright. Um, I am picking up what you're putting down. Let me go for the taunt right here into you. And I will actually max guard. I do not feel like getting rage powdered. Not in this situation. And my focus sash is still intact, so they would have to like hailstorm into the uh, more pico if they want to get a double KO or not a double KO, but hit me through the sash, you know. As they Dynamax, just like I thought. There are certain situations where it's like, yeah, they they got a Dynamax, you know. You can just very clearly tell. So I max guard here. Click my taunt. They didn't actually rage powder. They were going for the sleep. So hopefully... Oh, they max quaked. Uh, that's fine. That's fine, to be honest. Because I'm actually going to drop their attack... Or I'm going to drop their defense stat and be able to hit them with an aura wheel. And I still have my Torkoal in the back, so... I could just double into the, uh, the Glacier right now and not really lose much. So we'll do just that. I'll aura wheel. Hopefully they don't just attack with their, <laughs> with their um. What's he called? With their Amoongus. That would be not very poggers. And this will hit pretty hard. Granted, they don't max guard. You know, there's a lot that has to go right. <laughs> eh, nah, not too much. They withdraw. That's fine. Porygon. Incineroar, okay. So I'm not going to KO with uh, my Aura Wheel, but as long as they don't target into... Or I guess they could just Hailstorm. Yeah, never mind. They still take a ton from that. Oh my god, Spectre, you're insane. That was a crit, that's why. Are they Assault Vest? Because if that was a crit, and it didn't just straight up KO at plus one, I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe they, they are weakness policy or something. Or did they reveal life orb and I just wasn't paying attention? Probably It was probably that. I'm probably just not paying attention. And wow, that didn't KO. So, I mean, we lost more Pico finally. I think that's the first time he died in this video. I could go for Mud Shot, which is an absolutely gamer play. I could just go for Mud Shot into their, um, into their Incineroar. And protect my Torkoal. Because I'm thinking they're going to want to, like, go for Fake Out. And probably Max Quake. I should definitely just prioritize this guy. I'll go for my Protect. Go for a Shadow Ball. Should do a decent amount. Especially if I crit again. Because <laughs> they can't fake out the Spectre. Let's see if they leave Spectre alone. That'd be interesting. As I crit him again. Okay, well obviously Spectre just wants to be in the thumbnail for today. But it's still going to more Pico. <laughs> I get a Grim Nay boost. Now, obviously, I'm still scared of the... <laughs> I'm still scared of the Amoongus. I'm surprised they didn't... Okay, I, I I don't know. I'm thinking they probably attacked into... They probably attacked into Spectre that turn, considering how they played that. Let's go for Heat Wave and Shadow Ball. And plus two life orb shadow ball might knock out this uh, this Amoongus. Nah, not quite. 
They go for Flare Blitz. I think I just win. I don't really see how they can break through Stack Attacka and Torkoal. Like, obviously they can go for Spore and mess me up, but I just have to wake up once. And, like, their entire game plan falls apart. So I guess I'll just click Gyro Ball into the, uh, into the Amoongus. And Torkoal does have a chance to wake up immediately, so... Actually, uh, Burning Jealousy makes more sense if I'm trying to go for a turn one wake up. Gyro Ball, since they're just gonna put me to sleep. And then I should be able to beat the, uh, Incineroar down with Body Press, since they can't lower my defense. Watch them have close combat in Cinerar. I would die. <laughs> they Flare Blitz, presumably into the stack. Does a solid amount, but uh, they're taking some recoil damage, which should make the Torkoal cleanup crew a little bit easier. And the reason I'm going for Burning Jealousy and not Heat Wave is literally just because there's no reason to, to tempt a miss. There's no reason to tempt a miss. And it should always KO. Since Burning Jealousy is 100% accurate, yeah. And I'll Gyro Ball into you. Just in case I get the turn one, wake up with the stack now. Go for Flare Blitz. Dang, stack, you really gotta wake up, bro. Sludge Bomb. Dang, I might lose. I woke up. <laughs> We're good. Is this the turn Sun runs out? That'd be great. That'll make this endgame a lot easier. Hey, I wake up and I get my useless Gyro Ball off. Actually, no, it just does so much. Oh my god, what? Why did it do that much? Why did it actually do that much? Okay, now I can just yawn and uh, body press. I mean, he's going to knock me out with um, Flare Blitz, but I should be fine because he's taking Recoil. He already ate his berry, and he definitely cannot beat Torkoal down without um, a crit Flare Blitz. Or Darkest Lair at either one, really. He has to crit. Harsh Sunlight faded. And I suppose I just click Heat Wave now. I can protect, actually. Actually, mm, I get the most out of this if I Heat Wave now. I don't think he'll knock me out even with a crit because it's Incineroar and they don't really run too much. They don't run too many, like, offensive EV spreads. Lowers my damage output there, unfortunately. Uh, but I think, yeah, I should be able to win this. Just land a couple of Heat Waves and we're good. So I'll just keep clicking A until I win. You know, unless he wakes up and crits me. Either one. <laughs> I mean, it would be a well-deserved crit at this point, considering what I did to him. Fast asleep. Land my heat wave. No reason to tempt fate. We'll just go for the burning jealousy now. And that should be game. Fast asleep. Nice. So, a bit of a messy endgame, but we still won. And a bit of a messy beginning of the game because we got crits. <laughs> but we still won, so it's, you know, that's just how it is. So yeah, uh, we went undefeated with more Pico today. Couldn't have asked for a better video. Maybe less crits in the last game, but yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and update my ranking. Let me see if I made it in the Master Ball tier real quick. Because if not, we can just start off the video with that. <laughs> Ranked Battles. Update rank. It's taking a second. Not quite. All right, so I guess we'll just get it next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Info for the more Pico team is in the description down below if you guys want to try it out. It's a really fun team, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.